hello guys welcome to another video on the code angle youtube channel and in today's video i'll continue with tables just like i did in my last video and today's table is going to be about material ui there's a certain component in material ui called the data grid it's a data table which is able to um, work well with react it is fast and extendable as you can see from the documentation here so there is a commercial version and there is also an MIT version. We'll be looking at the commercial version. This is the MIT version. So I'll drop the link to the documentation in the description below. So this is what we'll be doing. But the data we'll be working with is going to be coming from an API. And as we all know, the API I've worked mostly with so far on this YouTube channel is called JSON Place Older. So this is the public API we will be working with. So as you can check the documentation here, you have um some boilerplate code so i'm not going to be copying any of this i'm going to write it from scratch and i'm going to show you some of the sorting functionality and also the pagination functionality this actually comes in inbuilt into the data grid so um with all this said and done um i would like to also emphasize on the fact that um i would like you to please like and subscribe to the uh, youtube channel and also please drop a comment on the type of videos you want me to to drop as regard them um, react angular javascript i really appreciate it if you can let me know as this will help me to create better content so thank you very much for doing that and let's get started so the very first thing i'm gonna do is to open my my terminal actually so i already created my project using create react app so i'm just gonna run npm start to open the project in the browser and i already opened it in the visual studio code so as we are waiting for this to load up in the browser um i can tell you that you need to install two packages in fact you need to install the material ui core and also the material ui data grid so i will be leaving the command to this uh installation process in the description down below so this is a boilerplate react template in the browser so i'm just going to quickly clear out the header and um, also create a component folder and a file called data table .js. so let's generate a template it's called data table so to show this in the browser i can just write h2 data table and then import this inside the app.js file and one more thing is to add some margin to our app class so i can just say margin is 20 px so let me save all that and then check the browser So there you have it to have data uh not table um it's gonna be table so uh data table file loads in the browser so the next thing we're gonna do is to i believe you've already installed the material ui core and also the material ui data grid so without that this is not going to work so next thing we're gonna do is um import the data grid in our project so i can just say import data grid from at material ui data grid okay i think that's all we would need to import so the next thing we need to do is to um generate the columns because when you look at the json place all the documentation the particular api we'll be dealing with is the posts we have um the user id the id the title and body so we'll just be dealing with the id the title and the body as the as the columns in this um, particular project so i'm just gonna create something like const columns is equals to so it's gonna be an uh, array of objects so we have a field key and it's gonna be tied with id 
and then the header name this is we're getting all this from the documentation actually so there's nothing strange here so this is going to be id let me make it capital letters so the next one is going to be the title so it's going to be field name field is going to be called title and then the header name is going to be called title and lastly the last header we'll be having is called the body so the field is going to be called body and also okay this is supposed to be in quotes body and do and also the header will be called body so i think that's all for the columns so the next thing we're going to do is to load out our api and to do that we'll be make use of the fetch api the last video i did i make use of axios today we'll be making use of fetch so before i do that i need to import some react hook custom react hook and that's the use case and also the use effect custom hook so to do that to make those work we can create a make use of the use state um if um react hook by declaring a variable and a function so the first one is gonna be the we're gonna call the variable table data table data and then the function is gonna be called set table data So use state and we set it to an empty array. So the next and final hook we're gonna be making reference to is the use effect. We know this loads immediately the page loads in on the browser. So use effect making use of fetch API. We can just say F E T C H. I don't know why I get confused anytime I want to spell fetch. So we can just get the the URL to that from the JSON place order. So I paste that there. Then what happens is we get a promise. It returns a promise. So we can just say dot then and then subscribe to that and then assign a variable called data and we set our data as JSON format. So I can just say data dot JSON and also we get another dot then and let's try to log the data to the console to show um we are getting we are doing the right thing so i'm just gonna say console.log data so let me save that and then check our console so there you go we have the data 100 posts loaded to the browser so we can now display that in a table the data grid component table coming from Azure AI. so to do that we are going to call this function called set table data and then assign our data coming from json place with that to it so that makes it perfect for us to do what we want to do next so finally i'm gonna call the data grid so coming from material ui so i can say data grid and close that particular component so what we can do is we can assign the rows and append the data coming from the rows which is called table data here then up next we can assign the columns which we did earlier the columns are these three columns id title and body and then the page size so the page size is kind of like a pagination i'm gonna make it 10 and then finally the check this is like the check box so check box selection this is the attributes a default attributes coming from a try UI. so we can also um what we can also do is um in a add some styling so i can just say style 
the height, give the table the height of 700 um, and a width of 100%. So before I load this in the browser, one more thing I would like us to do is to assign some width to our column. So we can also do this. Um, this is not something out of the box, it's all in the documentation. So I can just assign some width. So this can have a width of 300 because the title and the body have um, a lot of a, a lot of data like long data is coming from them so it's kind of needs some expansion so for the body we're gonna give a width of 600 so let me save and then let's load check out the browser okay we don't have any errors which is great so let me increase this so as you can see the data displays on the page perfectly well so it displays, displays on the page perfectly well so we get 10 data per uh per output from what we can see here so if i press next we get another 10 so for instance if i go to the page page size and i increase it by zero and i save it you can see all the data will load on the page all the data is going to 100 of them is going to load on the page as you can see here but there won't be any pagination but if i reduce it to something like let's say five or let's say 12 so we are going to have 12 data per per page as you can see here so with the help of the pagination Come to the next page and also we can apply some sorting either for using the body the id or the title so that's it for this particular video you can check the documentation which i'll drop the link in the description for you to see how much you can do with this you can also select some of the rows and then maybe delete it if you want you can add some delete functionality to this so that's all i'll be doing for this particular component in the material ui so one more thing i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna look at one final table probably um in the next coming um days and before i do that i think i might also create a video on how to set up react using webpack and parcel just stay tuned and um let's see how that goes so thank you very much for watching this particular video once again please like and subscribe and drop a comment on the type of videos you want to see i would like to hear from you thank you very much for staying tuned and i'm going to see you next time. Bye guys.